Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is me, Dr. Jahangir Khan, and today we are going to discuss what is non rebreather mask, why it is called non rebreather mask, and what is a rebreather mask. So, before going into the detail, you must watch my video on the FIO2. Uh, what is the purpose of nasal cannula? Simple face mask and then non rebreather mask. Well, I have I made a separate video on that and the algorithm if the person is not maintaining saturation how would you proceed so coming directly into the question why we move from the nasal cannula to this to the simple face mask or a non rebreather mask and then non rebreather mask to increase the FiO2 FiO2 means the concentration of oxygen in the inspired air again the concentration of oxygen in the inspired air now if suppose this is a person and we have applied the nasal cannula over here so <clears throat> the person if we have applied the nasal cannula so in this case the person is inspiring from which source two sources number one the nasal cannula and the second is from atmosphere from atmosphere so two sources one is the nasal cannula plus the second is atmosphere so is it is this 100% oxygen the person is, is inspiring the answer is no that's why the FiO2 in this condition is very low up to 30 to 40 percent this is because of the interference from the atmosphere and this is because of the breathing mask you can say it is because of the breathing there is a non rebreather mask this is the breathing cannula we are not having uh, a non rebreathing cannula the breathing term means there is interference from environment so in nasal cannula you are having low fio2 now if you proceed toward the simple mask what happens there are two pores on the sides of the simple surgical face mask or you can a simple face mask the mask you we commonly use in our er and ward so what happens the air can come through these pores and the air exists through these pores so what are the two sources in case of this face mask to the person the answer is again the same one is the atmosphere and the other is the oxygen source that you have applied the piping system so in this case the FiO2 is increased a little bit because the interference from the environment is decreased so FiO2 is increased up to 40 to 60 percent now the main concern today is the non rebreather mask the mask that we, we use in our ward we must check validity for that and what is the validity there is a single or one way valve if you see the sides of a non rebreather mask and breather mask the breather mask mean there is interference from the external environment the non rebreather mask mean there is a one way valve one way valve mean uh, air can come out but no air can enters into the into the person respiratory system from the environment so this is a, a one-way valve a one-way valve there are there there are two clips if you see the non rebreather mask in ward there are two clips applied on the sides of these holes if there are no clips this is not a valid non rebreather mask and you would not expect the oxygen saturation to be raised so you must check this the person can exhale but but when the person is inspiring the walls are closed so in this condition there is no interference from the environment and we are we are attaching a, a high a huge reservoir of oxygen over here so we have decreased the interference from the external environment so we are not breathing from the environment we are not breathing in this case we are breathing from the environment this is breathing mask this is non rebreather mask we are not breathing from the outside atmosphere so we are breathing from the solely from the oxygen source solely from the oxygen source but still the the if i o2 in this case is almost 80 to 90 percent not 100 percent why because of the dead space inside the the human body the the the, the nasal passages and then the trachea and then the bronchi so over there there is a, a dead space uh, and uh, there is a mixing of the the air uh, so uh, we have increased the FiO2. The purpose of this lecture is to know about the non-rebreather mask. There is no interference from the surrounding. If there is no interference from the surrounding, 
then it means we are inspiring solely from the oxygen source. In those two conditions, we cannot inhale only oxygen. We are inhaling the atmospheric air as well. So in those conditions, if I O2 falls, in this condition, we are inspiring only from the oxygen source and we are not inspiring from the atmosphere. So the oxygen source can give us the FiO2 of 80 to 90 percent and this will increase the oxygen saturation. Uh, and uh, regarding the FiO2, what is the pur purpose of CPAP and BiPAP? I have uh, covered that uh, in my previous lecture. You can watch uh, that from my previous lecture. But the non rebreather mask that we use in our ward, mostly that I have seen the clips are missing. And if the clips are missing, it means there is interference from the air. If there is interference from the from the from the air, then we we cannot achieve the FiO2 of 80 to 90 percent. That is decreased up to 40 to 60 percent. And what is a partial non rebreather mask? The partial non rebreather mask means there is a one-way wall on the one side. The other side is free. The air can come and out, come and out. So this is a partial non rebreather mask. Partial non rebreather mask. Full non rebreather mask. Full non rebreather mask means both. The holes are covered with a single clip and uh, in a partial non rebreather mask that is one is covered and the other is not covered so one is one is allowing the air to come out but not allowing the air to come inside and the other is allowing the air to come in and then come out thank you for watching uh, and if you want to to such videos such concepts so like my channel, share my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notification of new videos.